Hi, Feelings Detectives. Miss Dean here. Welcome to Guidance for the Week. I'm so glad you're here. Do you remember our three school rules? Be safe, be kind, and be responsible. When we were at school, everybody worked so hard to follow those rules, and they are still really important, even though we're not together in the building. You're doing your learning from home, and you're probably doing a lot of your learning online. So you're using a Chromebook or a tablet or a phone to visit websites and apps to do a lot of your learning, and probably just to have some fun too. So today we're going to learn how to be safe, responsible, and kind online when you're learning and when you're playing games to have fun. Okay, to start, we're going to watch a video together that will show us, teach us three new rules to stay safe online. Hi, I am seven years old. I love playing on my mom's computer, but I always get permission first. Mom, can I go on the computer? Sure, sweetie. I love my mom's computer because I can go on the internet. The internet is kind of like your neighborhood. You can visit cool places. You can talk to family and friends. And you can learn lots of new things. Like yesterday, I visited a zoo that's near my house. I saw a baby zebra. I took her picture and changed the color of her stripes. Then added a hat and added it to my collection of wacky animals. Awesome! Then later, I went to a place far, far away. I visited Kenya. That's a country in Africa. A lot of zebras live there. Wow, that's a lot of zebras. Sometimes on the internet, I talk to people I know. Like my grandma, who lives in another state. Hi, Grandma. She's making me cookies that she'll send me for my birthday. Yummy, I wish the internet had smell rama I can talk to different people on the internet, like my cousin. But I only talk to people I know. But what I like most on the internet is that I get to play fun games. Score! I also like to draw and create new things and share it with my friends. Cool! Sometimes I visit websites where I learn new things, but I always stick to websites that are just right for me. Wow! Dinosaurs! The internet is a super fun place. But just like when you cross the street in your neighborhood, you also have to be careful when you go online. Here are three rules to remember. Rule number one, always ask your parents first. Rule number two, only talk to people you know. Rule number three, stick to places that are just right for you. Wow, that was fun. Dinner time. I'm logging off now. I can't wait to get back on again to see where I can visit next. Bye-bye. Okay, the three rules are, one, always ask your parent first to only talk to people that you know, and three, stick to places that are just right for you. And Snail would like to read a poem, if I'm right. Uh, yes, that's right, I would like to read a poem. Okay, Snail, go ahead. Safety, it rules. We need to be safe whenever we're online, so we follow these rules to have a good time.
Always ask your parents first. Only talk to people you know. Stick to sites just right for you and we'll be safe wherever we go. Thank you very much, Snail. You're welcome. You're welcome. So if you follow these rules, it will help you stay safe doing your learning and having fun online. Um, Nassim, I think I have a question. What's that? How do I know if a site is just right for me? Well, Snail, that is an excellent question. And it can be a little bit tricky. And that's where the responsible part comes in, making good choices uh, to decide if a site is just right for you or not. And let's think of it like a traffic light. So, Snail, what does um, a green light mean for a driver? It means go. And what does a yellow light mean? Oh, I'm really good at this one. It means go slow and be careful. And how about red? Red means stop. Yeah, you're right, Snail. So when we're thinking about uh, if sites are a good fit for you online, green means yep, it's just a right. It's just just right fit for you. Yellow means mm, you're not sure. You might feel kind of confused. You might have some questions. You might feel a little bit uncomfortable. That's time to slow down and make a good choice. And red would mean it's not right for you. Maybe it's for a bigger kid. Maybe it's for an adult. And you are probably getting signs in your body that you're feeling kind of uncomfortable. And it's really important to listen to those signs or to trust your gut. Let's watch this video about it here. We go online to find new things to do and see. The internet traffic light shows where we need to be. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Okay. To practice that, we are going to play a game. That's your activity this week. Okay, if I'll read different scenarios or different little stories, imagine that you were doing this. And if you think that it would be green, a just right site, you're going to run in place. If you think it would be yellow, you would need to slow down and be careful. You're going to stand up. And if you think it would be red, that it would be not okay, um, you're going to sit down. Okay. Number one, you went to the Gamesorama website by accident and a stranger sent you a message asking for your name and age. Okay, remember our safety rules. Ask parents first, only talk to people you know, and go to just right sites. Hmm. Is that is, if that is green, run in place. If it's yellow, stand up. And if it's red, sit down. Okay, that would be red. Remember, only talk to people that you know. Okay, number two. The Wacky Bunny site is so funny. Even your grandma thinks it's just right for you. So she sent it to you. Okay, green, run in place. Yellow, stand up. Red, sit down. That would be green. People that you, the grown-ups that you know, know what's just right for you. If they share it with you, it's probably okay. 
Okay, you are searching for pictures of hearts, but you come across a site that makes you feel very uncomfortable. Okay, if that's green, run. If it's yellow, stand up. And if it's red, sit down. Okay, remember to trust your gut. If you're feeling very uncomfortable, that means that is red and it means it is not a just right site for you. So I would say go talk to a grown up and have them help you get back to somewhere that is safe and comfortable for you. You visit a site about our solar system, but the words are hard to read. Okay, green, run, yellow, stand up, red, sit down. Okay, I would say that one is yellow. So go slow and think what your best choice is. If it's really hard to read, there's probably a really awesome website about our solar system that's a better fit for you. You might need help to find that. A site for your favorite TV show has fun things for kids your age to do. Okay. Green, yellow, or red? That would be green. That sounds like a great fit for you. There's a kid's sports site you visited that allows people to chat with each other. Okay, think about this one. Green, run, yellow, stand up, red, sit down. This one is a little tricky. This is yellow. So the site might be okay, but remember, you're, and it might sound fun to talk to other people, but you don't know them on that site. So remember to slow down, think about your safety rules, only talk to people you know, and don't, don't do that part of the site talking to people that you don't know. Your teacher tells you to visit a site where you can learn about things, learn things about giraffes. Okay, your teacher tells you to visit a site where you can learn things about giraffes. If that's a green run, if that's yellow, stand up. If that's red, sit down. Okay, you should be running. That is a green site, a just right fit. I bet your teacher is sending you lots of sites and apps and games that are just right for your learning right now. Okay, last one. You watch a funny video, but notice the videos next to it look like they're for big kids. Green, yellow, or red. Okay, this is yellow. This is time to slow down. Think carefully. So the video you're watching sounds green, but you do want to be careful and Make a really smart choice. Don't click on the video that you can tell is for a big kid. And sometimes they start playing on their own. If that happens, stop the video. Check in if you're feeling uncomfortable or you know that it's not right for you. Uh, get out of that video or go ask a grown up to help you come back to a safe and comfortable video or place on the internet. Hey, thank you very much for playing with me. If you remember your traffic lights and you remember your three safety rules, ask a grown up first. Don't talk to people that you don't, only talk to people that you know. And go to sites that are just right fit for you. You will have a lot of fun on the internet. You'll be safe and making those good choices is responsible. You also want to be kind. So only say things that you would say in real life and spread kindness online just like you do when you're at school and when you're out in the world. And sometimes other people aren't very kind online. And if you ever see that happen, talk to your grown up and they might be able to help by maybe blocking that person or reporting them if you're on a game um, or helping you get somewhere, get somewhere that's safe and kind and fun. There are so many safe and kind and fun places online. Okay, we have a last video, a final video, um, and Snail is going to help me dance to it.
This is a song to help you remember everything we learned today. And um, on in the comments on my website and on the YouTube video, there are some links to things that will help your grown-ups learn all about our safety rules so that they can do their job to help you stay safe um, online and have fun with your learning and with your games. Okay. Use your head when you're online, most especially your mind. Think about the things you see, ask good questions, that's the key. Use your arms when you're online, to take a break and balance time. And leave your tech behind, when you find yourself a tree to climb. From your head down to your toes, pause, think about it. From your feet up to your nose, pause and think online. Use your gut when you're online Pay attention to its signs Know when it's safe to play Make good choices every day Use your legs when you're online Stand up to bullies across the line You can help friends big or small Just lend an ear and stand up tall From your head down to your toes Pause, think about it From your feet up to your nose Pause and think online your feet when you're online think about the tracks you leave behind privacy's the way to go don't share with people you don't know use your heart when you're online always do what's right and kind by showing friends respect and being nice on the internet so think with your head balance with your arms listen to your gut Stand up with your legs, make good tracks with your feet, and feel with your heart. Just pause and think online. Okay, that's all for this week. Have fun online learning and playing. I'll see you back here next week. I miss you. Bye-bye.